guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to show you the basics of adding custom um, audio files to your M Creator. Uh, when you're adding custom um, audio files, make sure that they're not copyright restricted. So make sure that uh, you don't like um, use name brand songs or anything like that. You want to search up on Google or whatever, free music or free audio or something like that that you can use or sound effects. Uh, there is a one that I usually go to for my personal sound effects. It's called uh, free, what was it, sound uh, effects, should be freesoundeffects.org. Yeah, this one. This one is a really good site for getting free um, audio, like sound effects and stuff. Uh, they have a wide, um, a large uh, thing, but it's only sound effects. So if you're looking for music or something, then you're going to have to find a place that provides free music. Um, but I'll leave the link for this in the description. Um, outside of that, uh, you also need Audacity, which I will also leave in the description. It's free software that you can use to export things like MP3s or WAV files to uh, OGG files. So what we're going to do is open up our audio file on our desktop. Uh, just used a um, file from Google um, audio library just for this tutorial so we're going to zoom in on this highest peak we want to look at the auto audio track and find the highest peak in the audio uh, this is important because this is going to make us um, basically test the audio a little bit better in that section to reduce the um, basically to reduce the, uh, uh, how high the audio is. We want it around 18 decibels uh, for the playback. So we're going to select this section right here. As you can see, it's right at the top here. So um, we're going to select that. And to select it, we want this little icon here. To zoom in, we can use this one. And I'm just gonna select this area right here. And then we're going to play it back. And as you can see, it goes over almost to exactly zero. So what we want to do is lower the audio sound or audio volume. So we're going to select this one and we're going to drag it. We'll, we'll test it at eight. We want to pay attention to the little blue icons up here. This basically says that it's the high point of the audio. So we want it somewhere around 18. So we're going to play it again. And we're about 8 now, so what we want to do is probably go about 18 then. So try 18. And as you can see, it's right on 18, so we our audio is good for that. Um, what we need to do now is export it. So we're going to go File, Export, Export, and then Export as OGG. And that's all fine. We're just going to use our desktop save as. Uh, you might want to fill out certain information. It might be required by wherever you're getting it from. Most of the uh, files that it comes with uh, for this particular one, the mp3, it already had uh, Google has filled out for software so we should probably leave that if we're adding it to our mod and stuff and click OK. And it's going to export it to our desktop right here. We can just close out of this now. Now what we want to do is go into mCreator. Uh, we're going to go to resources. We're going to select sound. And then we're going to import OGG file. We're going to select our desktop. We're going to select our audio file. And now we have a few settings. Uh, first one is the sound name. Uh, this name should, uh, should not repeat. And it should have no spaces. So for example, you might want to um, name it as part of the sound category so for example uh, block if we're doing a block sound uh, what you would want to do is something like block um, and then say um, music effect one 
and then you want to select your category which is basically how the audio is going to be controlled for volume master is uh, basically the master volume control ambient player neutral hostile block record and music so ambient is sounds like the cave sounds that you might hear randomly they're usually eerie sounds uh, when you're over a mine, mine shaft or something like that uh, if you have the not the narrator, but the um, subtitles on, you can usually pinpoint where the sounds are coming from and what it what it is. It usually says eerie sounds when you, the subtitles are on. Uh, player sounds like footsteps and stuff like that will pick up on player. Neutral is uh, things like uh, animals, stuff like that. Hostile is obviously the complete opposite of neutral, which is um, like skeletons, spiders, stuff like that. Blocks are obviously blocks being broken and placed. Blocks that are basically um, playing music like jukeboxes and stuff like that are records. And then music is the overall game music. So we're just going to use block for this tutorial and then we're going to go import sound. We're going to go to our Minecraft elements. Now in order to use it into your mod element there's a few things that you need to do. Either you have an element um, procedure that uh, say when you right click on a block or something it will play a sound or um, if you're um, basically like uh, wanting it to run with a certain event what you can do is just create a procedure regardless you're going to be working with procedures to make this uh, happen with a sound so we're just going to create a procedure and I'll show you quickly how to add your own sound so enter the name of the procedure so we're just going to call it um, sound test and if you're not familiar with how this little green thing works um, the event trigger this little part right here is where the trigger uh, or the event basically connects to it. If you want it to happen randomly or when a certain condition applies in the Minecraft world, you can select one of these things. For example, um, let's see here, uh, when player joins, when player leaves, when player responds, an explosion, player wakes up, or any of these other things um, can basically automatically trigger this procedure. So we're just going to have it no additional trigger. And what we want to do is go to world management and we want to look for um, an event that says uh, player at and then the coordinates level one, pitch one, sound, and then it should have a custom name right here. This is the one that you're going to be using for your custom sounds or any other sound for that matter. Uh, it has built-in Minecraft sound as, as well, but your custom sounds will be located here. So once you get that into your workspace, you want to make sure that it highlights yellow and drop it onto the green um, trigger event trigger and make sure you save it. So what that will do is basically um, play the sound. Obviously we would have to link it to something like a block or something like that, but um, once that's all configured, you would link it to, say, a block on right click or an update tick or something like that, and then it will play the sound constantly. But um, outside of that, hopefully you found it in uh, useful, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.